some Zen students are advised to simply watch their thoughts, while others are admonished there is no thinker of the thoughts. Well, which is it? Ask the first century Buddhist philosopher Nagarjuna. He advised that we need to contemplate both conventional and ultimate realities if we are to ascend to nirvana, just as a bird requires both its wings to take to the skies. But how are we to do that? Due to a happy coincidence of evolutionary biology, our sympathetic nervous system is already wired to practice mindfulness, and our parasympathetic nervous system is quite optimized to meditate. During every inhalation, we spontaneously access the sympathetic nervous system of our thoracic spinal cord that supports the sensory acuity that evolved to vulnerably, passively, viscerally, and randomly perceive sensations, flavors, scents, sounds, sights, and the like, as well as emotions, intentions, thoughts, memories, and imaginings. During each exhalation, we inadvertently access the parasympathetic nervous system of both our lumbar and cervical spinal cords, empowering us to physically relax and mentally release our resistance to the presence of that which we hate. Mentally release our resistance to the absence of that which we crave. And mentally release our resistance to the loss of that to which we cling. Every 12 hours, as we sit in meditation, may we exercise the courage to nakedly notice whatever presents itself during each in-breath be it external or internal, physical or mental, pleasurable or painful, interesting or boring, glorious or grotesque. And during each outbreath, when we exercise the enthusiasm to get out of our own way, align our body and mind with our factory installed wiring and physically relax as well as mentally release that we too could meditate like a Jedi.